Hey guys, what's up? My name is Trix aka Nico and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about the most insane money making method that's out there. It's sadly a limited one, but that makes it even more stable and the video especially right now won't have too much effect on it. And that method is going to be based around the National Mining Month. But don't you worry, I'm not going to only be telling you about the fact that Refined Mineral is able to generate you quite some wealth, but I'll go into much more detail, so I'd recommend sticking around. If you want to get more content like this one, then feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and also leave a like if you enjoy what you see. You can always change your mind later on again. And since I've also been working on a mod pack and I'm going to be releasing the beta version of it in the near future, if you want to become a part of the first people trying it out, then make sure to join my Discord server linked down below. But as you guys are here to talk about the National Mining Month and probably one of the best money making methods nowadays, let's get right into the video. Since like I've already said, this method is going to be based around the National Mining Month and since it's an event that only takes place whilst a specific mayor is elected, it's going to be very limited. If Cole is elected as a mayor and has the right perks with him, he'll be releasing two events in his time as a mayor, whereas both of them will last for five real life hours. During this time span, you're able to gather refined minerals from mining ore on public islands. This refined mineral is very valuable and also is used crafting various helpful items, as the chances of actually getting a refined mineral are not too high with a chance of 1 in 375 ores mined, you are only limited by the amount of ore you are able to mine within those 5 hours. There is ways to increase this, actually by a lot, and that's what we are going to be talking about real quick before we actually get to the method and the numbers it is able to generate. So how do you maximize your ore output to get as much refined mineral as possible out of every single event? As there's only one real answer to this question, I'm gonna quickly go over it. The mineral armor, which is also crafted out of refined mineral, basically acts as an allowed nuker that will break blocks surrounding those that you already broke by hand, therefore increasing the blocks you're able to mine by a ton. This obviously also works with ore, and as this ore is then counted as if you'd have broken it yourself, this is exactly what a mineral armor, even if you have to buy it, is something that is going to push your mining ability to its brim. Other than that, the only last thing left that is actually going to direct directly increase your output is going to be your pickaxe, as there is not only the onyx reforged stone which will apply the fruitful reforge, giving you a 3% chance for double drops, but then there is also the fortune enchantment that will give you an even greater double drop chance. And as those two double drop chances do not combine to become one chance, it allows you to actually, even if those chances are very slim, get 4 mineral out of one single ore mined. Other than that, I would still suggest you to get the efficiency enchantment combined with either a haste potion or the silverfish pet as even if you don't really increase your chances for the mineral, it still makes you much quicker and in the end it's probably still going to help you out quite a bit. So now that we talked about how to prepare, how do we actually maximize our mineral output as there is actually one simple yet not too well known way of getting your chances to the absolute maximum. The idea is pretty simple. Farm as much ore as possible with the best equipment you can get your hands on. I myself have tried around quite a bit before I actually found the perfect spot and for all of those wondering, it is as simple as going to the staircase leading from the gunpowder mines down to the lapis quarry. And now hear me out, I know that a couple of you might actually already know about this, but I still have a tiny list of tips that will help you out even more. I only found out about this spot after the first event was already over and I only had around 2 hours left from the second event to actually test out its efficiency. This spot and the capabilities, if you know what you're doing, is able to generate more than 150 million coins in less than 24 hours. Quick intersection since I found out that I messed up right here. I know it's not 150 million but rather 100 million and also as prices recently dropped quite a bit, the 500,000 coins mentioned are what I myself at least expected to go up to since the prices during the last event set around 600,000 to even 700,000 coins. Alrighty, let's continue. So I'm very much aware of the fact that it's very unlikely to get a double or even quadra drop from every single refined mineral, which would basically be able to push this money making method well above the half a million mark, but that's not what we're here for. And it also obviously depends not only on your equipment, but also the people that you're surrounded with. But since I myself have been able to generate around 30 million coins in only two hours of actually farming this event, I would say that without a doubt, and without over exaggeration, you're able to become a multi-millionaire by just simply grinding away on these 10 hours of the event time. And since I said I have a tiny list left of things that I wanted to talk about, here's the last bit of information to help you get to the absolute brim of this event's capability. The amount of people you're surrounded with, especially on the staircase, matters a ton. So no matter if you think it's a waste of time actually switching lobby, I have found out that the ore you actually are able to gather is increased by an insane amount by just finding a lobby that is not filled to the brim with people. As ore does only regenerate in a set time span, and at some point there is just not enough to satisfy each and every one mining, 
this is not only less efficient, but also makes it more of a competition than it would be if you just simply be able to grind away. Another tip is not to focus on ore whilst mining as the nuker ability of the mineral armor is able to break that as well. And if you are equipped with efficiency 5 and haste, you are able to insta break stone and simply move on to the next set of blocks, whilst the nuker ability cleans out the rest of the ore. And lastly, even though this tip isn't for everyone, if you're interested in increasing your mining XP as well, especially since coal can have the double XP perk that basically, whilst the event is going, makes you 400% faster gaining mining XP, you should definitely think of adding the compact enchantment to your pickaxe, since this will increase your output, especially on the higher levels of the enchantment, even more so. Alrighty, I hope that even if you knew quite a bit of this video already, that there is still parts of it that I could have helped you out with. And if you haven't known a single bit of it, well then have fun generating millions of coins in the next event. And since that's it for me today, thank you very much for watching, and have an awesome day.